When we're talking about near-death experiences, do you think it's best to kind of bring up these cases that are more uh, documented, things that we can match up with, things that were around a person that had an NDE, um, things like that, rather than like these like broad cases where it's like, oh, I went, I went to hell, or I saw Jesus, or I saw a tunnel, like things like that. Yeah, I think I think you have to stick with ones. To use some of the examples I did, where you're on floor two in the hospital but your family in the waiting room is on floor six in the hospital and you kind of zip over to them and you can tell what somebody says. There are very specific examples of jokes being told to, to loosen people up uh, to a doctor who comes in and gives them a report. Those kind of things can be verified seven floors away. People see things. They see... Um, I'm just making this up, this this kind of case. But to give an example, let's say you're watching your family five floors away in the hospital and a nurse comes in and I know this sounds ridiculous, but these things happen. Let's say she's got a name tag on uh, and it says Jennifer and she brings in a, a cart. She pushes a cart and she says, does anybody want water, Coke or coffee? And people start taking the Coke and water and coffee. Well, later you can say, I saw her come in. And you can say, well, that happens at that hospital. They bring drinks. I can say, well, okay, what if I know her name? Well, that's a little bit different. But I saw the name tag. It's Jennifer. <clears throat> so some of the cases are way more explicit than other cases. Some of them, like I said, the 12-digit numbers, some of them, or the yellow bag for the amputated leg, some of them are very specific pieces of information.